Okay, guys. Going to do a little experiment. That is a 55-gallon bag of crushed aluminum cans. And there's probably over a thousand cans in there. I don't know. I, it took hours to crush them all. But anyway, we're going to melt that down, that whole bag of cans. And we're going to see how much pure aluminum we get out of it versus how much slag. Now, there's all kinds of difference of opinion. Some say 30% slag, some say 40% slag. I say it's more like 60% slag. So, we're going to see just how many coffee, uh, coffee cup, nah, dick, uh, um, cupcake pan ingots we can make out of a 55 gallon bag of cans. So, uh, we're going to get started and I'll be coming back from time to time as I'm pouring the, uh, the can, uh, the um, cupcake pans and we'll see just how much we actually get out of it. load. The crucible is uh, filled to about an inch from the top and it took over half the bag just to fill that crucible. And that pile down there next to the furnace is all the slag that I skimmed off over and over and over again. Okay, that looks pretty clean. <coughs> yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Now let's see if we can do this without killing myself. Here we go. the camera or not. The crucible ruptured. The crucible ruptured. I'm turning it this way. Right down there. Right there. And that was a brand new build. 
move that so it doesn't explode the concrete. Oh boy, is it hot. about a $65 crucible and I don't have anything else handy to pour the rest of the aluminum out of there. There's got to be at least two to three inches. That, that aluminum's got to be up to about there. Wonderful. Just wonderful. What do I pour it into? I'll be back. I gotta find something. Uh, I want a coffee can. Put it on top of there. Red is all right, melting is not. Oh boy. Well, I filled the crucible up to about there. And it took over half the bag just to melt that much aluminum. And then, all this down here, all this down here is all swag from that over half a bag of uh, cans. Plus, you got to understand that a lot of the paint or ink that goes to print those cans burns off. Well, it looks like the coffee can held. That crucible sure didn't. And that crucible was made out of quarter inch thick piping with a 3 16 base. And this is only the second firing. And she already ruptured. Go figure. I don't get it. It should have lasted a lot longer than that. So, what do we get? We got 9, 10, 11, 11 ingots, a little bit spilled on the floor, and whatever's in that coffee can. And what's stuck in the inside of the crucible. And that's out of a, over a half a bag of a uh, uh, 55 gallon bag of crushed cans. But it looks like I'm out of business until I get another crucible. Oh well. So. If there's a follow-up, I'll, I'll add on to the next clip. <sighs> okay, guys. After getting another crucible, I come up with about 18... 18 and a half, 
there's another short one so that's all and you can see even though I cleaned it and cleaned it it's not that good of aluminum it's still got a lot of crud in it and that'll be uh, skimmed out and you know, when it gets remelted but uh, that's all the aluminum okay I, don't, I didn't weigh it up so I can't tell you how many pounds it is but uh, this is a four gallon bucket and this is all the slag that I skimmed out of that 55 gallon bag of cans that is just the tip of the iceberg because you got to remember that while you're melting it and the fire the, the heat is burning off all the inks and the paint and the plastics that are in those soda cans so this is all the junk that gets thrown away and uh, that's what you get got left so I'm gonna say it's at least a 50-50 deal you can't remelt this stuff this is this is total junk so just so, so you know what you what you're getting into when you're melting cans I hope that gives you some idea of just how much waste there is and and crud that is uh, uh, on those cans when you try and melt them down to do something take care guys thanks bye bye